technology is a force that is impacting the market, creating new risks, creating new business models, and all of that kind of drives a need for people to stay current with what's happening in finance and financial technology. What you need is a mindset, a mindset that will equip you to think about how technology impacts your business, a mindset that's going to help you deal with the industry as it continues to evolve, and that's what Stevens is about. Financial engineering at Stevens is unique in that we operate as part of the business school. Many other financial engineering programs have evolved out of engineering departments, but our view is that you should start from understanding what is the practical business problem that puts this financial question on the table and then draw in financial engineering expertise to help solve it. Financial engineering is probably going to be of most interest if you have a real orientation towards mathematics. It is a highly quantitative discipline. The central theme in many respects is valuation of financial assets, valuation of portfolios of those assets, and strategies that are based upon understanding those valuations correctly. The focus of the financial analytics program is to help you manage large streams of data that are coming at you in real time from a variety of different perspectives. It is a field that is going to be important in many different functions in the financial world. Investment, portfolio construction, assessment of risk in particular. The Masters of Finance is a degree that is designed to train students to interface with the rest of the business from the perspective of the financial markets and the financial operations of that company. So it's a lot about understanding finance, but it's also about understanding the technological foundation and the potential for new types of risks and challenges that arise from that. The leadership of the financial industry going forward is increasingly going to look for people that understand the technological foundations. And so the knowledge of what that technology is, how it works, what its limitations are, what its potential is, I think is going to be increasingly one of the criteria for evaluating people for leadership in the financial industry.